What's up, y'all? Back at it again. Let me stop. Don't ask why I got snacks in my room. But, hey, you guys. I'm back after a little bit, which I know it's a little bit uncommon for me because usually um, I upload, like, every fucking week. But life happens, you know, and I've been extremely tired, working, busy schedule, holiday season. But for now, I'm on winter break and slash uh, New Year's break. And yeah, so which to be honest, it's not even a break. It's like a week and some change. Like, come on now. But anyways, I'm on break. I'm enjoying my break. But... There's something I want to talk about and some shit I started noticing. Well, not started, but like I've been noticing. I just never really said anything. Like I always do this, bro. I every fucking video it's the same thing. I always say like it's some shit I notice, but I don't say shit because I just be like, is it too early to say this? Like, cause I feel like if I start saying some shit, people are gonna be like, no, what the fuck are you talking about? So I have to wait for a little bit of people to like kind of realize it and then i'm like okay now i feel like it's safe to come and say some shit but in today's video we gonna be talking about blackpink obvi fucking let me stop cursing obviously but we're really gonna be talking about blackpink as a whole and not just blackpink of course but yg the company yg the entertainment company and how they're basically exploiting blackpink so, I'm not going to lie, throughout my Christmas break or whatever, hold on. Anyways, so, I was scrolling through some TikToks, even some YouTube shorts, or even just some YouTube videos, period. And I was watching Blackpink's world tour that they're doing in the U.S., obviously. I think one was in Texas, one was in Chicago, whatever, whatever. And I'm not going to lie to you. Blackpink looked fucking exhausted. They looked exhausted. Not only that, not only that, they, a lot of the members, except for Lisa, I don't know how she does it, but we're messing up the choreography multiple times. We're not in sync, looking hella crazy. Even, I forgot if it was Jisoo or Jenny was looking at Lisa multiple times throughout the performance to figure out where they were supposed to be in certain parts of the of the songs and shit. And so, after seeing these videos, a couple other videos popped up on my recommended as well. Basically, people doing think pieces and think videos on how Blackpink, their concert is not really worth it. It's actually a scam. Anyways, yeah. And then that's when people started, I started seeing more and more people starting to talk about, yeah, their concerts are really uh, poo poo caca. And um, it's like, again, we're going back to this thing with the whole Jenny lazy dancing scandal. Like, people are paying all this money just to come see you guys and y'all can't even put on a great performance. Even some people started to mention that it's going to come to a certain point where people are just going to stop really caring about Blackpink because fourth generation's already taken over and when you compare Blackpink to those girl groups, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a huge difference. And I'm not going to lie to you. I do somewhat agree with that. But here's the thing. I'm going to be real with you. Let's be honest. I don't think Blackpink is... Like, Blackpink has come a long way. They have so much... Fa fa fandom they have so much recognition they have so much mainstreamness they're so famous i don't think it's ever just gonna go to a point where people just completely stop caring about them there are always gonna be those loyal those loyal fans that have been supporting them from the jump but i do agree that at some point they're not gonna be at the spotlight anymore you know so first opinion of this video Number one, yes, I do think Blackpink is overrated. It's been about time I said this. Let's keep it a buck. Their songs are overrated. Even with Pink Venom, it was just like, again, like, it's recycled at this point. YG, 
Teddy, why do they have this one fucking producer? I'm so sorry. Get Teddy out the studio. Get him out the studio. He does not need to be in the studio anymore because he's not allowing these girls to grow. It has been a, a, over a span of six years. Their songs have sounded the same. And the one songs that are still at the top of my list, even though they were released years ago, is Boom Ba Ya, As If It's Your Last, Playing With Fire, Whistle I don't really care for. I'm sorry. It's just, it's, it's too generic for me. But it's like, let's keep it a buck. Teddy, we, everybody keeps giving all this recognition to Teddy. What the, has he been doing? He's been in the studio playing around. He's been in the studio recycling the same song, recycling the same formula, sharing it and giving it back to the fans because they know the fans are still going to support it. The, damn, y'all sort of choke. Uh-uh. The fans are still going to support it. The fans are still going to listen to it. The fans are still going to buy the music. It's, it's, it's effed up. It's a really effed up situation. Get Teddy... Forget YG. Get Teddy out the studio. Get Teddy Bear, fucking Build-A-Bear, out the studio. What has he been doing? He, the same songs, and I said this in my last review for Blackpink. I said if Blackpink releases another song with this going to war theme, I'm so mad this is YouTube, y'all, because I cannot curse how, like how I want to. But if they release another song with this going to war theme, I'm going to be pissed. And they did, and it's Pink Venom. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Shut Down is pretty cool, but... Shut down? I feel like they should have released Shut Down. What they did with Pink Venom, they should have just did with Shut Down. Shut Down gave a different type of vibe. Okay, I'm gonna just keep it real with you. Now, people have been saying that Shut Down is a bye-bye type of song. Basically, this is a song, you know, transitioning their way into a disbandment. Hell no. I definitely don't think that's true. I don't feel like YG, the entertainment company, I don't feel like YG's done exploiting these girls. They're not done milking all that they can milk out of Blackpink. So that is definitely not a bye-bye type of song. No, it's not. But what I will say is this, Blackpink is overrated. I am so sorry about it. Black Pink is overrated. Their concerts are trash. And I don't think it's the girls' fault. I am not here to completely blame the girls because I'm putting a lot of the blame on their company. I feel like YG is not as put together as they try to appear to be. YG is a very sloppy company. They are basically exploiting these girls, exploiting their fandom, exploiting everything by putting all of these world tours out and these world tours look ridiculous it looks ridiculous i mean the setups are nice the visual is nice and that's the thing with yg the visual is always nice but when you look beyond the curtains when you see past the door it's like a whole bunch of reckless shit i'm gonna be i'm gonna keep it a g with you like let's let's keep it a buck multiple all the members at this point except for lisa and le this is the time where i want to give lisa a round of applause i want to give her a round of applause because with Lisa, it's like no matter what you put, what this girl go through, she's still gonna put on a good show. And I know for a fact, it's not as perfect as it is behind the scenes. I know she's tired. All the members look tired. But for some, some way, somehow, Lisa still manages to be on point. Props to her. Props to her. She's literally about to become my favorite member. My favorite member was Jenny. It's about to switch. Because Lisa's always on point. Y'all gotta understand, these girls are probably going through so much behind the scenes. Probably tired as hell from being overworked. Because they literally, even, um, I think, I don't know if I'm confusing them with Twice right now. But no, I think in Blackpink's Netflix documentary series, they mentioned how one time they had to go, they had to go to, um, one, a hotel, unpack their bags, stay the day, just to pack their bags up again the next day and travel somewhere else. Y'all gotta understand how tiring that is. And then not only that, they're moving from Korea, South Korea, to America, to here, to there. And y'all gotta understand, it's, it takes a lot to get used to the time difference. You know, while it's daylight in America, it's probably nighttime in Korea. So they're, they're having to get, their bodies are going to have to get used to all of that. It's like, these girls are probably going through so much. 
they need a break. They need a rest. And I know it's hard for people to come to that realization because it's like, well, Blackpink barely releases music. How are they like needing a break? It's like, how are they like needing a break? But I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Like they're not like, I feel like now they're really starting to be overworked. Like, do y'all remember that one story that came out where it was like YG had basically spent all of like fucking YG Entertainment's money on a casino in Vegas. You're supposed to be doing your job, working overtime, making sure that these girls are getting what needs to be done, getting their money, living their life, making sure they're well fed so that they can be healthy for another comeback. And you're in the casino spending money. Part of me feels like they're trying to make that money back. Not only that, I feel like YG, the company, is in a lot of debt. I don't know what it is, but something about YG is very fishy. I don't trust the company at all. But these girls are being overworked because now it's not like they're just doing little model campaigns and whatever while they're not pre releasing music. It's like now they're working their off on world tours in many different states, many different places. You know what I mean? And I feel like it, it, they need a break. Like, do y'all remember when everybody was like, yeah, Twice needs a break, Twice is being overworked by JYP, and now, what did JYP do? They released Itzy so that they can be at the storefront sometimes, and then that Twice could take a back seat and they could relax. I still feel like Twice is being a, just a little bit overworked, but Itzy's mainly doing all the job now, like, they're doing what they need to do, they're enjoying their careers, they're young, so they're fulfilling what needs to be fulfilled in JYP right now. Why did YG not follow suit? And I feel like a reason why he hasn't released a girl group yet is really because of the simple fact that it would be a lot. It would just take a lot to release a girl group right now. You got to come up with concepts. You got to spend more money. That is the true reason why I feel like he hasn't released a girl group yet is because they don't have the money. What they're doing now is they're finishing off what they're already started. Blackpink has already made it up there. They've already worked towards building their career, making them international, so and building their status. So it's like now it's like, you know, they're milking what they can out of Blackpink. That's why because it was been rumored that YG was supposed to release a fourth generation girl group since ever since like 2020 or 2019, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but yeah, like it was been rumored that he was supposed to release a girl group. Where's the girl group, YG? Because you don't have the money. Listen, let me tell you something. I don't think the girls are broke. I'm not coming for the girls. I'm coming for the company. I feel like the girls are getting what they need to get because they're making their money through modeling campaigns. They are ambassadors of these brands. So I feel like that's how they're getting their money. I don't personally believe that YG is paying them a lot of money right now. I'm gonna just keep it a buck with you. My intuition is telling me this. YG seems to be very in debt. Because if you have to go on all these world tours, they look thrown together, the girls look tired, Lisa's carrying everybody on their backs. And somebody mentioned this in one of their reviews about Blackpink as well. How are you gonna let your backup dancers outdance you? The girls are tired. The girls are tired. And then people have also mentioned that they seem to forget a lot of the group dances, but for some reason, they only really remember their solo dances. And the same thing happened with Jenny. And I'm gonna give y'all a reason as to why I think that is. I think it's something in psychology, you call it um, availability memory. It's basically when you remember the thing that is most recent or something like that. No, 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 I don't think it's availability. I think it's something else. I forgot it, but it's something in psychology where it's like you only remember the thing that you last did. And I feel like the girls have to work more on their solo parts because they haven't really learned that yet. I mean, they've, they've had these songs released since forever ago. You know what I mean? They have um, been done these dances. They've long since learned the choreography. So I feel like they're not really paying much attention to the choreography at this point because it's like, well, we already got that down packed. You know, now I just need to focus on this new dance that I haven't learned. So I feel like that is the reason why they only really remember their solos and they don't mess up on their solos. It's because number one, more pressure. And number two, 
because they probably haven't really they're not comfortable with the dances yet so that's what they're focusing on and then on top of that you add that they're learning the, all of this in a limited amount of time because they're pushing out these world tours and then something also happened as well which i think is really funny and i want y'all pay attention to this part in the video jenny messed up during one of their world tours i know it was in america i don't know if it was in chicago los angeles or texas which how are y'all performing in texas i'm sorry but i don't read texas as that type of state to do that but hey do what you gotta do but um jenny messed up jenny actually actually slipped like during one of their performances jenny slipped on air i don't know how she just stumbled she slipped honestly a loss in balance an inability to be to maintain balance could also point to a problem in um sleep maybe she's not getting the amount of sleep she needs she's tired as hell she's exhausted therefore that's why she slipped on air so basically she slipped during a performance and surprisingly jenny pointed this out like after all the performances are done and then you know the part where the members come to the stage and they just basically speak to the fans it's a very um intimate moment between the the members and the fans Jenny decided to address this and she was like, look, y'all, I know y'all saw me slip. You know, y'all saw me slip on the floor. Um, I would really. And basically, she just basically asked the fans to not post it online, which is very crazy. But pay attention to this because I think it speaks to the extent that YG and people in YG are willing to go to just to have a good image. Mind you, South Korea is a very traditional country i know there's misogyny in it still there's a lot of things society that may be wrong with the country they're very traditional and one thing about traditional beliefs and traditional you know way of going about things is to always have a good front to never let your demons come to light basically even if there's a whole ton of shit going on in the back you're still supposed to keep a good face so i think that's the reason why she didn't want the fans to post it online. Another reason could also just be the scandal that she had in the past and how much that probably affected her with people calling her a lazy dancer. She didn't want there to be another scandal. So that as well. But I also think it's really because of protecting YG's image. But yeah, um, a lot of the another thing that made me really like want to make this video is because when you're looking at all these new girl groups, for example, New Jeans, Stacy, uh, the group that released Anti Fragile, uh, Itzy, what's the other one? All these other girl groups, you see truly that they're doing so much better than my pink. All the members are synchronized, first of all. They have that fire, that spirit, that energy. And you look at Black Pink and it's just like, what the hell happened? What is going on? Now, again, I'm gonna give Blackpink a lot of grace in this video. Let's be real here. I feel truly like the K-pop industry and the K-pop entertainment industry truly drains the artists. It drains, it's very draining because when the members and the groups first come out, they have that very youthful look. They look so youthful. They look excited. They look ready to work. They look like they're, this is their dream. They're ready to accomplish their dreams. They're ready to sing. They wanna dance. They wanna have fun, have a lot of energy all groups come out like that and then you see as time goes on which is what really is happening to blackpink they're losing that fire that passion it's coming in and out they're trying to be passionate but it's like i'm tired of this lifestyle it's so draining like yes this is my dream but do i really want to live this way do i want to spend the rest of my life this way no and so i'm not gonna say all groups did that because i mean look at twice i feel like some members of twice maybe like losing their passion here and there but overall i don't truly feel like twice as a whole is just completely losing all their energy i mean all of their passion but that's what's happening to blackpink i mean maybe not for lisa eh, for rose but i truly feel like the life of a k-pop idol is very draining it's so draining and so all the younger groups the groups that come out they look so youthful they look yes i'm ready to do this and then time goes on and then you start to see like 
You're not as excited as you were before. But yeah, um, that's what I have to say for Blackpink. They just haven't evolved their music at all. Their music has been stuck ever since do 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 do, which I'm not gonna lie. They have released a couple sidetracks, a couple other songs, like Don't Know What To Do, Forever Young, which, you know, to keep that black and pink element, but the main title tracks of the songs are still the same. It's still this going to war theme. I feel like they should have dropped this theme a long time ago. Why are we still getting this type of theme? Why is there being no evolution? Why do y'all keep putting these same songs at the forefront? You clearly see fans are complaining that this is the same thing over and over again. Why did y'all just throw Pink Venom in the trash? Because that's truly what they should have done. I don't feel like Pink Venom should have been released. We're fine without it. Pink Venom should have been thrown in the trash. And y'all should have just released um, Shutdown. Y'all should have just released Shutdown. And I'm going to be very real with you. I don't care how much money they spent on these music videos. You wouldn't have to spend that much money if your song was actually good. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. And I, and again, I think this goes in with YG's image. It, it goes with his image. It's like, oh my God, the richest company ever. One of the big three uh, companies. Da, da, da. And let's be real here. The, the K-pop industry is a very competitive industry it's constantly changing nothing's ever stuck at one place there's always new groups new people coming out new talent new faces and it's like some groups are going to be pushed up for example big hit and bts you never know if there's going to be another group that's gonna just like stacy keep an eye out for stacy new jeans what a huge surprise i did not expect new jeans to come out when new jeans came out i was like wait another girl group came out like Hold on, what's this song? Okay, I'm into it. Stacy, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, Stacy had a good momentum, but right now, I don't know. I'm not really feeling Stacy, but I'm still they're, they're still my girls. Stacy girls, it's going down. Okay, so I'm still a Stacy fan, even though not really right now. But New Jeans and Stacy, okay, all the way up there. Itzy might be next. You never know. You never know. And so it's a very competitive industry. So I can't imagine what YG is doing behind the scenes to try to maintain that type of status. It's, it's probably a lot of work to maintain that type of status with all these new faces coming up. So that's truly why I feel like, you know, it's all this rah-rah, like, oh my God, that's the most expensive music video they've ever had. And to be honest with you, I don't know why, because I just wasn't really feeling it. I was not feeling it. To be honest with you, I enjoyed Shutdown much more than I did Pink Venom. And I feel like all that money they spent on Pink Venom, where do y'all think that has went? They trying to make that back right now with all the more tours. Now let's get on YG, the entertainment company. YG is a very shady shady business and i'm about to bring up some old things that pro some people probably kind of forgot about a little bit yg is a very shady entertainment industry and i know this because every time i do a, a reading on them even if it's not directly them it's black pink uh lisa jisoo rose um jenny what happened to somi why is she not I don't know. Somi's doing great in her career, though. I'm not gonna lie. I've always been rooting for Somi, but what... I don't know. I kind of forgot about her. Um, whether I do a, a member... I mean, a reading on YG itself or the members of Blackpink, there's always that one card that always alludes to something is going on behind the scenes that nobody truly knows about. Some really evil, crazy shit. Now, it might not be diabolical, but it's just some... Not something good. And I know this because, let's be real here, do y'all remember what happened with Big Bang? Because let me tell you something, one thing about me, I'm going to always remember some shit. Do y'all remember what happened with Big Bang when it was basically rumored that, that there was some trafficking going on? That there was some traffic going on? That they were dealing with... 
Do y'all remember that? When one of the members, and I don't just think it was one of the members, but let's be real here, it was one member that was really at the forefront that was uh, alleged to be dealing with this type of illegal behavior. Now, I'm going to be very real with you. I wasn't here for the Big Bang era. I was not. But I did look back at some of their music videos, of course, as any K-pop fan would. And I got very intrigued. But when I looked at them, I got a vibe of very immature young men. And I don't know what it is about immature young men, but I could sense them from a mile away. Like, it's... it's, I hate it. But I get... I got very immature young men that were granted with so much power success stardom at a very young age and had very big egos you can tell they had big egos i would too like i'm young and i'm living it up i got all this success who's gonna tell me what now i'm gonna be real with you i don't feel like it was it's just that guy that was doing that it's not just him do y'all really think it was just him do y'all think yg had no idea that was going on do y'all truly believe YG had no idea that that was going on? I truly feel like, and I, I want to ask y'all another thing. Do y'all truly think that he just, I don't know, got up one day and was like, yeah, I'm going to start doing all this illegal stuff? Like, imagine that, a boy living a regular mundane life because not everybody that came into YG was rich at that time, right? So he was probably living a regular mundane life. He probably didn't even know himself like by himself he probably didn't know that all of this stuff was available to him so what i'm trying to allude to is that i i personally believe that yg the company really values their artists that grant them a lot of money basically because at the time big bang was that they were that they were those boys they were on uh, they were you know, very famous. They were the BTS. They were basically them and 2NE1 was doing what needs to be done. But I'm going to be real with you. I do feel like YG mistreated 2NE1. I feel like there was a lot of misogyny going on there to the point where they mistreated 2NE1, but because Big Bang were boys, they gave them more respect. So I'm going to be real with you. I truly feel like it, with that whole traffic situation, I truly believe that because YG really values their artists that, you know, basically grant them with a lot of money, they're very famous, they're international, I truly believe that someone gave that boy that idea that, hey, you know, since y'all are so good, y'all are doing this, y'all are doing that, let's, why not go out and have some fun? Why not do this? Why not do that? Do y'all truly think YG had no idea that was going on? And if y'all think it was just that guy that was doing that, do y'all not believe that some people in YG are also into that kind of stuff as well? Even some wealthy people in South Korea might be into that stuff as well? What I truly think is that that boy... He was stupid because truly and honestly, there's probably so many more people in YG or just in K-pop period that get into that type of stuff, but they keep it very hush. They keep it very quiet. They do not let it be known that that's what they're doing. Cause like I said, traditional, traditional country, you do not let the demons that you are dealing with on the side come up to the front. So I truly feel like he was just the stupid one that let it, that accidentally had people find out that that was what he was doing. Because mind you, let, let's keep in mind, they're immature, they're young, they're not thinking with their heads. So he probably was the one stupid one that let everybody find out that that was going on. He was probably being boastful about it. I mean, imagine how many people YG paid to keep that on the low. They knew that was going on. And that's truly why Big, Big Bang disbanded so early. I truly feel like had it not been, had it not been for that, YG would have kept Big Bang. If anything, they would have disbanded 21 before Big Bang. But because that happened, YG said, look, you're doing too much. You're not going to come here and ruin my image because of something you effed up. Because you let somebody know that, that, that was you was, that's, that's what you was doing. Not because you were doing that, period. Because let's keep it real here. That's probably what a lot of people are doing on the low, including YG himself. But 
He was probably like, look, you're not going to come here and ruin my company because you let somebody find out that that was what you were doing. So he disbanded. He disbanded the group because how do you continue after that? You can't continue after that. So he erased the group and chose to put all his focus on 21. Now, let's get into something else. Although YG is not the CEO anymore and it's a woman, let's be real here. Like, let's be honest. It's still his company. The company's literally named after him. Y'all really think it's just going to be... And he's out of the picture? No, he's just not at the forefront anymore. And let me tell you why I think he stopped being the CEO. I feel like he may not be the CEO, but he's still like a very big partial owner of the company. And that's because at the time, I think it was like 2015, 2016, um, again, the cracks in YG started to show. I don't know what it was, but I think a lot of people started blaming YG for a lot of shit. And I think it's because, number one, there was talks again, like this pops up every now and then, of him basically saying that Blackpink was the prettier 21. They were the pretty 21. And it was some other stuff as well, basically talking about how he maybe overworking the... I forgot what it was, but he was getting blamed for a lot of shit. A lot of people started getting on his about a lot of stuff because it's like well this is your company and you're allowing this to happen this is what you're doing you're mistreating artists da, 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 right and so i truly felt like he did a business move he stopped becoming the ceo so he wouldn't be at the forefront and people wouldn't blame him because at this point yg was starting to become recognized as an evil man which he is but he was starting to be recognized as an evil man and so he probably thought look i can't i can't do this I'm not risking the company and the company's image because people are starting to find out who I am as a person. So it's time to dip. But I still believe he's in the background. I truly believe he is in the background because think about it. Even after that, I think in 2020, 2021, that's when it came out that he had dropped all their money in a casino in Vegas. What are you doing? Anywho, that's all I have to say about YG Entertainment. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Yes, I believe Blackpink is overrated. I don't truly believe that a lot of it is their fault, but they haven't evolved as artists. Let's just call it a spade a spade. YG's very shady. I believe they're in debt, and they're in a lot of debt, and they're trying to make that back with this world tour by overworking the girls, and it's horrible to see, which is probably why they're not releasing music right now, because it's too much. But yeah, let me know what y'all know, what y'all think in the comments below. I will be releasing more videos because I have a lot to talk about, of course. Y'all know me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.